H4. Ah, okay, H4. Ooh, okay, but in that case, D4. Let's see what's going to happen after D4. She protected her back rank. And, of course, D4 is a move that you calculate because A6 uh, was preparing it in a way. Bishop takes D4, Rook takes C2. And maybe she is thinking about playing bishop c4. That's the idea of her like protecting her first rank. That after bishop takes c4, she has rook e8, knight f8, bishop c5, something like this. But even that, it's not the end of the story. We did see Ju make a surprising move. She, did, she decided not to determine the situation and instead to retreat the knight to f8. And uh, Ju has really taken the idea of you go backwards, I go forwards to heart. And now we see her taking space there with G4, which I really like. I mean, after all, Ju, uh, Leiting J, sorry, has a great position. She has the bishop pair. She has the better pawn structure. She's got space. Why is this not uh, just fantastic for her? Well, I mean, it does put a lot of pressure onto her opponent, just showing her, you know, con confidence and like uh, determination. Uh, but at the same time, we did discuss it briefly today that pawns don't go backwards. Uh, 